motions of the earth as you know that the earth has two types of motions namely rotation and revolution rotation is the moment of the earth on its axis the moment of the earth around the sun in a fixed path or orbit is called revolution the axis of the earth which is an imaginary line makes an angle of 66 half degree with its orbital plane the earth receives light from the sun due to the spherical shape of the earth only half of it gets light from the sun at a time as you'll find or as you can see in the figure 3.2 how is the shape of the earth okay it will be spherical shape the portion facing the sun experiences day while the other half away from the sun experiences night the circle that divides the day from night on the globe is called the circle of illumination the earth takes about 24 hours to complete one rotation around its axis the period of rotation is known as the earth day the other half would remain in darkness and be freezing cold all the time life would not have been possible in such extreme conditions as you can see this is sun okay so the half half of this person is day okay and the back side is dark means night so this person is left person is night when right person is daytime so day and night on the earth due to the rotation it is because of this rotation so earth rotates like this the second motion of the earth around the sun in its orbit is called revolution revolution is something like this this is revolution like this this is like this revolution it takes 365 days one year to revolve around the sun we consider a year as consisting of 365 days only and ignore six hours for the sake of convenience as you can see in this picture uh, figure 3.3 revolution of the earth and seasons as you will see in this uh, figure you will see some different seasons okay like summer season winter season autumn okay winter and spring like that sun is in the middle do you know the ancient indian astronomer aryabhata had stated that the earth is round and rotates on its own axis okay, this is earth okay six hours save every year are added to make one day 24 hours over a span of four years this surplus day is added to the month of february thus every fourth year february is of 29 days instead of 28 days such a year with 366 days is called a leap year remember what is leap year a leaf year then you will write like this our oh, 366 days is called a leaf year from the figure 3.3 it is clear that the earth is going around the sun in an elliptical orbit notice that throughout its orbit the earth is inclined in the same direction a year is usually divided into summer winter spring and autumn seasons seasons change due to the change in the position of the earth around the sun the rays of the sun fall directly on the tropic of cancer as a result these areas receive more heat the areas near the poles receive less heat as the rays of the sun are slanting the north pole is vertical towards the sun and the places beyond the arctic circle experience experience 
continuous daylight for about six months okay on 22nd december the tropic of cancer receives direct rays of the sun as the south pole tilts towards it as the sun's rays fall vertically at the tropic of capricorn 23 degree half south a larger portion of the southern hemisphere gets light therefore it is summer in the southern hemisphere with longer days and shorter nights the reverse happens in the northern hemisphere this position of the earth is called the winter solstice do you know that christmas is celebrated in australia in the summer season on 21st march and september 23 direct rays of the sun fall on the equator at this position neither of the poles is tilted towards the sun so the whole earth experiences equal days and equal nights this is called an equinox on 23 september it is autumn season in the northern hemisphere and spring season in the southern hemisphere the opposite is the, the case on 21st march when it is spring in the northern hemisphere and autumn in the southern hemisphere thus you find that there are days and nights and changes in the season because of the rotation and revolution of the earth respectively